On this video, we're going to talk about the income approach, or sometimes called the income capitalization approach. The formula is usually referred to as the IRV formula, or I over RV. We'll do three problems using the same formula to show you different ways the formula works. I'm Karen Clymer of Orlando, Florida. I've been teaching real estate pre-licensing classes in Florida since 2003. I've had hundreds of students pass the Florida real estate exam, and I want to show you how to do that as well. Keep watching and I'll show you three problems that are similar to something you might see on the Florida Real Estate Sales Associate exam. A piece of property generates $30,000 in gross income per year. Expenses for the year were $12,000. If you were hoping to make a 12% return on your investment, what is the maximum you should pay for this property? So this uses the income capitalization approach or the income approach. And this assumes that People buy income property because they want the income. The person who's buying the income property doesn't care how pretty the building is or how many rooms or bathrooms or whatever. He just wants to know how much money it makes and that's what determines the price. So the formula for this is I over RV. You can think of yourself standing on top of an RV. I over RV. This is income, rate, and value. And I said this is a formula, but it's really actually a memory peg. In this case, we're looking for the maximum you should pay for the property, so the value of the property. So whichever one you're looking for, you cover it up, and that's the formula. So in this case, the value is I over RV. So the income, this is annual net income. That's very important, annual net income. So in our question, they don't give us the net income. They give us the gross income of 30,000 and they give us the expenses of 12,000. So that gives us 18,000 is the net operating income. So we'll put that right here. And then the rate is always a percentage. It's 12%. So then you just put that in your calculator, top divided by bottom. 18,000 divided by 12% will give you 150,000, which in this case is B. I'm going to show you a few more problems because there's other ways you can use this formula. So I've got two more problems coming up. An investor put $30,000 down on a $150,000 property. The net operating income is $22,500 and the mortgage payments are $10,000 per year. What is the capitalization rate? So just like before, the formula is I over RV, but in this case we're looking for rate, the capitalization rate. So we're going to cover that up and that's the formula, I over V. So the investor put 30,000 down on a $150,000 property. So the value is 150. The amount he put down is irrelevant. The value, the, the price is the same, no matter how much he puts down. And it says the net operating income is 22.5. So we don't have to do any math there. It just gives us the net operating income. But it also gives us the mortgage payments are 10,000 per year. That's just problem trash. We don't need that. The mortgage is not an expense of the property. Expenses are things like utilities, insurance, salaries of the property manager, but the mortgage is not, not, not an expense of the property. And I, I make a big point of this because it's a way they'll trick you on the exam. The reason it's not an expense of the property is because if Mr. Billionaire were buying a $150,000 property, he could pay cash for it. But if I were buying a $150,000 property, I would need to get a mortgage. So the mortgage is a personal problem. But you compare that to something like insurance 
or the salaries of the property manager or utilities. It doesn't matter. I mean, I would need insurance on the property and Mr. Billionaire would need, need insurance on the property. So that's an expense of the property. So it's important to know that the mortgage is not an expense of the property. So we go back to this, we've got the net operating income and the value, and then you just put this in the calculator, top divided by bottom, and it's gonna give you 15%, which in our case is C. So we've solved one problem for value, we've done one for rate, stick around and I'm gonna show you one where we do income. An owner acquired a piece of property for 150,000. She wants to achieve a 9% return on her investment. How much must she earn per year to achieve this goal? So just like before, we're gonna start with I over R, V. And in this case, it's how much must she earn per year? So we're looking for income. So you cover that up, that's the formula, R times V. So the value is given in the question and the rate is also given in the question. So you just plug that in your calculator, 150,000 times 9% and you get 13,5. So this person needs to make 13,500 per year, which in this case is A. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. It helps other people find the videos. If you need any further assistance or want to talk about how to get started in real estate, please give me a call. I'd be happy to help you.